Anna is the head of PR in Germany and both are free. This is a pre-production car, it's not ready yet, so keep in mind this thing because they still have to work until it will come on the production. Also, I will make a full review with the car where I explain you every single feature. But today, Anna, uh, it's very nice and uh, it will explain us a few things about the car. It will probably tell us a few numbers, the price and also when the car will be released or when will be on sale, at least here in Germany. Anna, first question I think many people ask because there are so many people that wait this car and I think the quality of the car is really really good. When Polestar 2 was released was kind of a competition between Model 3 and Polestar 2 and I will I was always say that the quality on Polestar 2 was much much better and now I think the competition will be between Model Y and Polestar 3 right and I saw the car before and the quality is really good inside and also it looks much better from my point of view the design i own a tesla model y but i have to be honest the quality and the way it looks it's it's really nice so great job when will come on the uh when will be on sale yep it's already on sale so you can pre-order the car uh, the car right now on our website but the production will start in q1 next year and probably be on the roads in europe around q2 Q2, quite a tool. We're all and waiting for it. I can totally understand it. It's yeah. a really lovely car. Yeah, I think there are so many people online for yeah. it, right? Yeah. Do you know something about orders? There are many people. Unfortunately, there. I cannot reveal those because we are listed on the Nasdaq, so I can unfortunately not tell anything about order numbers. Yeah, but but do you think it's a problem with uh, like with other cars manufacturing when they deliver that delay or something like that? Or there was a delay also with Polestar Free. I need to admit that uh, it was because the platform, the Spa 2 platform, we are working on it with Volvo, and it's brand new, and therefore we wanted to make sure that the software works absolutely yeah. fine and is running as you said we yeah. are really high quality car makers so yeah. therefore it's a little bit late but as said q1 it will be delivered yeah you know better quality and wait a little bit longer yeah. then get it on the market and then have a lot of problems like we saw on other cars absolutely. <laughs> so uh, the price of the car it will come in two versions right exactly it will come in two versions during the launch so we will have the dual motor and the dual motor with the performance pack yeah. And it starts at 88,600 here in Germany, and the other one is around 95,000. Okay. And in, in Germany, I think it's also an incentive from the government. Unfortunately, right? not in this price class, uh, because it only runs until 60,000 euros in Germany. Okay. How many horsepower it has? The long. So the this is the one with the performance pack, and this comes with 517 horsepower. So it's quite a lot, as you can see. Yeah. You can actually tell that it's the one with performance pack, as you can see those yeah. the really lovely Sweden gold details, as you can see with the uh, with the brake the brake calipers. It looks really nice. Seat so. belt as well. You probably see that from Polestar 2 or recognize that yeah. from Polestar 2 already. So they're vegan friendly seats, right? So yeah. Exactly. The, the quality is kind of the same as in Polestar 2 and I the I would say it's materials. better because it's obviously more premium than Polestar yeah. 2 and it comes with a higher price tag as well. Yeah. Um, so my personal opinion is that it's even a little bit more premium as it should be. Yeah, so the quality will be better inside yeah. every single Yeah, we element. use a lot of high quality materials. We also came up with some new materials. As you can see on the side, there's Vcom. Yeah. It's made of flex fiber, so it's an absolutely natural, sustainable product. Yeah. Uh, but uh, therefore, we can reduce plastics. And right. uh, as you know, Polestar is very into making all the cars even more sustainable, uh, have less emissions with our yeah. cars, reducing our footprint. And this comes obviously with the production, but also with all the materials we are using. Yeah, great, great, great. And I saw that it comes also, if I remember well, Polestar 2 doesn't have soft clothes, but on Polestar 3, uh, it, it comes with the clothes, soft clothes. Yeah. So it will have extra, some extra options. Yeah. And also I saw the multimedia system. It's, yeah. it's uh, actually kind of the same, right? Or uh, It also is built on Google. So we have a strong cooperation with Google and it's used uh, iOS built in. Yeah. Um, but here again, we are trying to improve it. Um, there will be more and more apps coming. There will be some new features also with Polestar 2. Uh, Polestar 3, obviously, compared to Polestar 2. Um, yeah. But this is something, unfortunately, you cannot see all the details now in this demo card yeah, here, yeah. but as soon as it's released. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Google Map and I saw that Polestar use it what yeah. for between the first, right? That they yeah. use the, the Google and it's really incredible, precise and it's really fast and 
processor. It's, it's really good. The multimedia, it's, it's great here. Actually, really proud of this corporation because we think that's actually the best uh, system you can use. Obviously, we all use Google Maps on our phones, so you have the same interface in, in your cars already. You yeah. know how to use it. It's really intuitive. You have live data. Uh, I think that's very crucial if you drive your cars, especially in the city. So uh, I think it's a fantastic corporation. Great. And this four star free have another element that it's a plus in comparison with Model Y is the cockpit, right? Because it has this little cockpit there where you can see the map I saw before and you can also customize in some ways, yeah. right? Yeah. And this is also a nice touch, an extra touch that I like yeah. very much. Well, so free will also come with a head-off display. Um, so it wasn't just, uh, in, in the Polestar 2 before, but it will come also in the Polestar 3. So yeah, you so have free monitors. So you have to choose from where to yeah. where to yeah. look. Like in terms of uh, space in the trunk, do you yeah. know some numbers? Or oh, I need to look that up, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I think it's quite the same as with Polestar 2. So uh, the front will be about 35 liters. Yeah. But um, I need to do that. Yeah, yeah. No, we are, we'll add it on the screen. So because I'm also with the numbers, I review and I film so many cars and I just forget so fast. There are so many numbers to keep in mind and it's quite, quite complicated. <laughs> but yeah, in general, thank you very much, Anna, for your time and for the information. Thanks for coming. Um, I can't wait to see the car on the road. And uh, I will be back here probably next year when you will have one for the test ride, right? Definitely, here. definitely invited. So here we are in uh, Munich at Polestar uh, Studio, right? Space. 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 Yeah, Polestar Space. Sorry about that. So guys, if you want to see the car, if you want to test drive next year, uh, for the moment, I think you have the Polestar 2 here for test yeah. drive and the people exactly. can come here to see the car, to test it, yeah. buy it. And if you have any question, you can come here uh, because the people here are very nice and they will help you with pleasure. So that was the video. Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, guys, stay safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye.